Hello Cass, uh, I'm gonna walk you through this real quick. So what you're gonna need is MultiMC and JProfiler. So what you do is you open up your MultiMC, looks like this. You go under uh, settings. This is in Swedish for me because my operating system is Swedish. But what you do is you go to external tools. You have a tab called JProfiler. What you do is you either uh, you click here to make sure it works. And what you do is you open up here. <coughs> you go into your install directory. So in this case, uh, C for me, program files or program. Uh, actually, no, that's sorry. Uh, program files, J profiler and choose folder. This enables uh, J profiler to work with your uh, multi MC or your multi MC to work with J profiler. So what you do is you hold down the button here and you'll see an option called J profiler. So what you do is you click J profiler, which is gonna start loading up the pack, uh, which is gonna look something like. I can't show you it right now because my console window popped up on the other screen. So I'm going to do something like this. Boop. And kill Minecraft. Yes, yes, I know it can corrupt. So what you do is you uh, profiler. And it's going to pop up something like this. Where it says uh, upstart of Minecraft uh, will be waiting until you press the button. Uh, this is now when you should uh, uh, set your like performance uh, looking tools, J Profiler. So what you do now is you you go to desktop, you open up J Profiler, let it load. <coughs> yes, attach to locally running uh, JVM. So, uh, yeah, you select uh, new launch.jar because that's multi MC waiting for you. You click start. And if you look here, like you really don't need to do instrumentalization, but it can be good to run. It really slows down load time, but uh, it shows you things like RAM usage and critical overhead and method statistics and stuff like that, like how often classes get called, how long it takes for them to get called, what like it iterates through and stuff like that. Normally when I stress test packs, I usually just uh, do sampling because it checks uh, CPU time, which is usually where uh, most, if not all of uh, the slowdown happens. And then it presets everything for you and you click OK. So then it starts. My recommendation is you go into uh, CPU view, call tree, it's going to look like this, and then you start your game. This is going to take a little bit uh, because it's going to be loading, but essentially when this loads and when you run the game and stuff like that, what's essentially going to happen is uh, it's going to show you all classes it can profile. Some classes it can't profile because they're obfuscated. But in most cases they can profile basically anything. So what it's going to show up here is how much time they're taking uh, to actually load each class, how much memory, like essentially how hard stuff is getting pulled. And uh, that's... That's about everything you're gonna need to know. You can play around with JProfiler a bit. I think you get like 30 days on the free... Uh, it's either 10 or 30 days on uh, the, 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 the thing. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah. So as this is loading, you can see more stuff is showing up here like uh, Java MS Lang. So here we have a 70%, uh, well, so to be 18% is being used 
by uh, FNL client splash progress, which is this thing. And essentially all of this is just it loading uh, all the prerequisite classes, like things like vertex buffers, OpenGL, uh, like basically external stuff that isn't actually part of the mod. So this is how it looks right now. And once you actually get in, like inside the game, uh, what's basically what it's gonna do is you jump in game, you run around your world, and you're gonna see here instead of splash, you're gonna see like other options to start taking memory. So what you just do is click your way down to find the offending stuff. Uh, I can already tell you right now, if you're using JourneyMap, JourneyMap has, I don't know if it's been fixed, but I know it had a memory leak, and it was pretty nasty one at that, like it really upped the ante over a couple of minutes. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope this helped. If it didn't, I'm sorry, but I can, I can probably help you over Discord or something. Anyway, see ya guys.